Now this is a real scorcher. This one is really difficult. And um, I think you might get quite a fright when you see if you see this for the first time. The big challenge here is that I can definitely not take a log on both sides. That's not allowed because there's two terms. You can take it, but it's not going to get you anywhere. Okay. So uh, the substitution method that I've just shown you, substituting your your base exponent that you want on its own, is the best way to continue here. Because remember, all I want to do is first, before I can take a log on any side, I want to get a base and an exponent alone on the one side. So the best is going to be to replace um, the base 3 and its exponent with something. But which exponent? Look, I've got to the power of x and I've got to the power of 2x. Well, use the, the, the one with the lowest degree. So we're going to say let p, because I like the p, equal to 3 to the power of x. Okay. Now, what is going to happen then to the 3, 2x? Well, 3 to the power 2x is simply 3 to the power x that was squared. In other words, that's simply p squared. So, I have 2 times p squared minus 3 times p is equal to negative 1. And look at that. That's a quadratic equation. No way. This thing is going to have two answers. You might have never suspected that in the beginning. But now we can see, oh, that's a quadratic equation. So the, the uh, value I want to solve has got a square. Okay? To solve quadratic equations, we take everything to the one side. Okay, so we've got 3p plus 1 is equal to 0. We make our two brackets. Okay. See, the one side must have a 2p, the other side must have a p. Since this is positive, then the two signs must be the same. Since this is negative, it means those two signs are negative. Okay, and since this factor is 1, it must have been 1 times 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so at this point we can say, we can solve p, so we're getting p on its own. So we get 2p minus 1 is equal to 0, or p minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can go ahead and um, solve for p. So in this case we get that p is equal to a half, and in this case we get that p is equal to 1. So let's go substitute back. Remember, we actually substituted p. It used to be, we substituted with three, p. It used to be 3x. So now 3x is equal to a half, or 3x is equal to 1. This one is very easy to solve. What exponent can I give 3 to get 1? 0. So x might be 0. That one will work. Okay. What might x be on the other side. Okay, there we're going to have to take a logarithm on both sides. So we put log of 3 to the power of x okay, is equal to the log of a half. And as you do a few of these uh, along the way, you are definitely going to start seeing that there's a few steps that's very easy to to skip. Okay, so I took simply the exponent that was on the inside there, multiplied it to the front, and now I can divide away with my log 3. And I find then that my answer is x and I'm going to round is the log of a half divided by log of 3, so 0.5 logarithm divided by 3 logarithm 
is equal to negative 0, 0,63. Negative 0, 0,63. And that's probably as difficult as it gets. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can enjoy practicing it.